Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, 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 we're going to do a two-for-one special today, guys. Because we're almost at a thousand subs, guys, and at a thousand subs, we do the Jeff Sokol special. We're going to do a whole week of Sokol, okay? <laughs> so guys, we're going to get into this. We have John Baker and Peter Hernandez. Now, John ba Baker, he was caught in the Murphy, te Texas thing, and unfortunately, he had all of his charges dropped. Because Lewis Conrad, you know, deleted himself, and all the charges against all those knuckleheads got dropped, which totally sucks the butt, right? It sucks. So, because bad things should happen to these guys. We also have Peter Hernandez, okay? And Peter Hernandez, um, let's see, they got him, let me see, in the Fort Myers investigation <laughs> it took me a little while right and yeah guys so we're gonna end this guys but please remember to like subscribe drop a comment guys it really helps keep this channel going guys uh join the discord guys i drop the discord during my lives on tuesdays and fridays i usually go live at 6 p.m eastern standard time but if i have to go live earlier guys check the discord or the community tabs and yeah, guys, if you want to join the Discord too, either join the lives or drop the request in the com comments. I'll drop it there. Any requests for any predators, guys, drop those in the com comments also. And let's get into this, guys. Two more men go through the same drill. This 25-year-old is here to meet. Guys, look at. You guys remember? Was it? This is the 2000. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, 2000s long sleeve. Shirt and jean look for guys. You guys, do you remember this look? Um, I hope I, I can find find it. Everyone kind of wore this. It was, a, it was like a long sleeve button up shirt with a. It was a it was a look back then that all the guys were doing. If you guys watch, it's always Sunny Dennis in the early seasons wore that like all the all all the time hold on uh yeah this is it hold on um let's see if it'll pop up here <laughs> I mean, look at all the guys in the bands and stuff like um wait hold on wasting my time default who remembers default guys um let's see if i can find the video yeah you can see what he's wearing <laughs> With the button-up shirt and then like the jeans, you know what I'm saying, guys? This was like a total 2000s look, mid 2000s look. It's kind of hard to see, guys. <laughs> I can't believe that I can't find this look because it was everywhere, right? It was like a button-up shirt. You no, know, that was like kind of. It was like a, this is when slim fit first became an actual thing. It was in the 2000s, right? Let's look. Here we go. Dennis Reynolds. Sunny. Let's do season two. Yes. <laughs> like he kind of wore this look the whole time, like the whole first like couple seasons. Man, he had like a button-up shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Yeah, and the jeans. You guys see that? That was like a mid, you know, that's like a two thousands, early two two thousand tens look. Guys, if you don't watch, it's always sunny. Like, what are you doing with yourself? <laughs> you guys got to watch this show, man. This show is fantastic. It's one of my favorite shows. But if I could, like... Guys, you know what? This is going to kill, kill, kill me. I got to show you guys this look. YouTube, let's do Wasting My Time Default. I can't play the music, guys, or I will get a uh, copyright, so... Uh, let's see. Let's mute. All right. Let's see if we can see what this guy looks like here. You can see his outfit. <laughs> Guys, I would play the music, but it'd be a copyright, and then I, I would get you off of you, you, you see. Where is this guy's outfit? This is the only one that I can, I can actually remember that he's wearing this this type of shirt. Um. Yeah, you can see he's he's, he's got a, got a, got the shirt, and he's got like the jeans on, like the boot cut jean look. 
what you guys put in the comments if I'm making any sense at all. <laughs> all right, guys, I swear I'm not crazy, all right? I, I know that I go up on a lot of tan. Ah, look at that. The boot cut jeans. There it is, the shirt, button up shirt, boot cut jeans. I can't believe it took this. <laughs> But guys, 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 that was a look. Matter of fact, he looks just like this John Baker guy, right? Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, I digress, guys. I am so off to the topic. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, guys, we all know Murphy, Texas does not play around. Just ask Twink Toilet. <laughs> and apparently Chris Hansen, he wasn't at the house. So, like, they they couldn't interview him. So, right when this guy, you know, Tokyo drifted his car up and stepped out, all all he saw was... All right, all right, all right, here we go. Drill, this 25-year-old, is here to meet a girl he thinks is 13. Get your hands behind your back now. But he never even makes it to the door. And what about this man, John Baker? He's the 25-year-old arrested for attempting to solicit sex with a decoy posing as a 13-year-old. What kind of work do you do? I'm a pharmacy technician. How long have you been there? You guys notice? He has his hands covering his face because he knows there's cameras there. Just like someone we all know, right, guys? I don't want to be on the news, dog. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good old David Schumacher, right, guys? Four days. Hmm. Where'd you work before that? First Baptist Church. Why did you have to resign at the church? Uh, because me and uh, another woman in the congregation had an affair. Oops. And Is she married? Are you married? Or? Both of us are married. Oops. What were you doing at the church? For, what kind of work? Associate Minister of Music. Really? He says he almost turned around. There go the crocodile tears, guys. Round and I went home. Coming because my girlfriend, whatever you want to call her, mm -hmm. text messaged me and said, I love you, I love you, I love you, mm -hmm. I love you. But I was going to knock on the door and say, hey, sorry, no, and tell her that I, loved some, I was in love with somebody else. Come on, guys. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Come on. The investigator wants to know why then did he bother having the sexual chat with the girl he thought was a young teen. Yes, John, why did you have <laughs> that type of chat with a girl that you thought was 13? Let's see what he says. Why would you think about it with a young girl? That's, uh, how old did she? Was 13, she said. 13? Yes, sir. Yeah. Why would because you? it's a girl in general. It's not a sexual desire specific to young girls. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Ah! Okay. I don't. I never did drugs. Never smoked. Mm -hmm. um, I have drunk very minimal. Mm -hmm. um, girls my entire life and women have always been my only downfall. Mm -hmm. They've always been my vice. And now... That vice but has led him here. You don't have to feel shameful in front of me, man. I don't <laughs> you just need to feel shameful in front of the millions and millions of people that are watching this footage. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not a judgment guy. Okay? I'm not covering my face out of shame. I'm covering it out of the fact that I have zero life now i work in minimum wage jobs pretty much for the rest of my life well at least he's you know he has some sense of awareness here <laughs> you know what i mean come on but he says he's not sure what he would have done when he actually met the girl in person come on guys come on a lie detector determined that was a lie oh! come on you wouldn't have sex with her didn't you i did not in know whether I intended or not to have sex. Of course. Clown world, guys. So, guys, like I said, John Baker, he got off because this was the Murphy, Texas thing, which sucks, man. Really, really sucks. And I hope somewhere out there that, you know, justice is served on this guy. So, guys, we are going to move on to Peter 
Hernandez, right? And he is a teen counselor, I believe. And let me see. Yeah, let's see here. Let's go over here. Guys, we're not going to go through this whole chat, the chat log, even though it's, it's actually pretty short. So let's see. So what did he call him? He calls himself Pedro 700-1976. And he says, uh, and, the, and the decoy calls himself Lohan Sucks. Guys, who remembers Lindsay Lohan? Or was it L L Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan, Lohan, or whatever she called herself, Lindsay Lohan. Guys, hold on, Lindsay Lohan. You guys remember in the 2000s when that Herbie movie came out and she was everywhere, everywhere. And then she got into drugs and just dropped off the face of the planet, man. Look at that. You know what the craziest part about, about this, guys? Out of all the 2000s chicks, like, Paris Hilton actually seems to be doing, like, the like like the best out of all of them, honestly. Like, she didn't really get in any scandals, so she wasn't st strung out on drugs. And if anyone was going <laughs> to... Was going to get the, the most li likely to be, to be, you know, uh... You know, found... You know, expired in a in a in a <laughs> in a bathroom in some luxury penthouse in Vegas. I would think that it would be Paris Hilton. You know what I mean? But you know, she, you don't really hear much out of her other than these commercials that, that she does. She does like some type of commercial now. But what is Lindsay Lohan twenty twenty three? Let's see. Because I know that, like, oops, Amanda Bynes looks terrible now, dude. Have you guys seen her? Yeah, this is her 2020, because she was, like, on drugs. She had to go to rehab a, bu a bunch of times. But let's look at Amanda Bynes. Amanda, yes. Amanda Bynes. Look at her now, dude. Look at that. What is going on, man? What is going on? All these child stars, man. A lot of them get chewed up and spit out, man, by Hollywood. Even Britney Spears is a little off. But that's why it's it's cool that, like, uh, who else is doing good? So, Elijah Wood, child star, he's doing well. Uh, 2023. You know, he's doing well for himself, you know? Uh, guys, put in the comments some of the child stars that actually grew up and are doing well. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, he's doing good for himself, you know? He's been acting since he was a little kid. So, but, but a lot of these young child stars, man, sh man, oh man, oh man, sad. Matter of fact, maybe we should do a, a live stream on these child stars, man. And some of them that are just, oh, Justin Timberlake's doing well. He was a child star. That's right. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's still doing well. He's not in any, you know... He's not, you know, doing doing heroin or any of that stuff. You know, he's doing pretty well. So that's a that's a good a good thing, right? Okay, so I digress. <clears throat> he says, Hi. She says, Hi, how are you tonight? Fine. Age, sex, location. Twenty four, male, Florida. And you? So he was thirty and he took about four years off his age, guys. Uh okay. What's up? Nothing much. You don't mind t talking to an old guy like me? Guys, comments. Guys, please. How many guys have said that? Oh, you, you don't mind talking to an old guy like like me? Or, or would you consider talking to an old guy like me, right? Okay. She's like, you're not my, my, my grandpa old. Thank you. LOL. I'm in Port Charlotte. I'm in Southwest by Cape Coral. Wow, we are close. Totally. LOL, too bad you aren't older. I would ask to come see you, LOL. I wish, LOL. I'm not old enough for you. I guess I'll go. Nope, you're fine. I'll be glad to talk to you. You leave, leaving me? Nah, I'm just looking for a boyfriend. I just got dumped. But if I'm too young, it's okay. 
well, would you go with a 24 year old? If he was nice, nice to me, sure. Your parents would kill me, lol. So my dad's in Chicago. Well, then your mom will kill me. She's at a convention. She's a nurse. Wait, so you're by yourself? Yep. Wow, when's your mom com- coming back? Mon- Monday? Why does your boyfriend dump a pretty thing like you? For a girl with bigger boobs? Oh, wow, that sucks. Uh, nothing I can do. He's he's an ass. <laughs> How old was, was he? 17? Yeah, guys are usually asses at that age. Did you have sex with them? Is that too personal to ask? Nah, it's okay. We did once. Oh, I see. Well, I know if I have a girlfriend, I would need sex. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Sorry to hear that. LOL. Hey, thanks. It's my problem. LOL. I know what you mean. Cool. Is that the only time you had sex, or have you had other times? <laughs> that was it so far. So he just wanted your virginity, prob- probably. I'm ga- ga- guessing. I'm sorry. Oh, what a, <laughs> what a, what a sensitive guy he is, right, guys? Come on, knucklehead. Okay. Da-da-da-da. He says, she says, I'm Sammy. I'm Pedro. Nice to meet you. Uh, am I being too forward about sex? Nah, it's okay. Okay, cool. Well, what you doing tomorrow? <laughs> You're not an undercover cop, are you? <laughs> Guys, there's that Preto vision again, man. There's that Preto vision. Guys, they see all the red flags, but they just keep going. Uh, da, da, da. I'm bored, blah, 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 phone number. I don't want to show that or they'll take the video down. Uh, what time do you want me to come? Maybe noon. Uh, she says, huh. well, I, I just want to warn you. I'm very, I'm very horny, so please forgive me if I want sex. I understand. We'll make it work. We'll have a good night. I can't wait. So then this is the next day. Uh, hello, she says. When you get on, let me know. Morning. Morning. Sorry, I'm late. So you still want to come over? Yes. Is it all right that we'll just be friends or you want a boyfriend? Well, I mean, are you just saying that you want to do stuff but not be... Boyfriend, girlfriend? Well, I want to do stuff. I think your mom would put me in jail if she knew that you that you and me were having sex as a boyfriend. Well, okay. I don't want to think that you're my boyfriend or anything. What? If you still want to do stuff that we talk, talked about, would, would you still have sex? I mean, if you're nice, LOL, thanks. Uh... What do you like for lunch? McDonald's or whatever is fine, but no pickles or whatever you bring. Okay, I hate pickles myself. I like the two cheeseburgers meal, guys. That <laughs> guys, that's always been my go-to McDonald's meal, right? McDonald's two cheeseburger meal. There we go. Yeah. Guys, this is always my go 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 to right here, man. You know all the Big Macs and and Flair fish and all that that that. No, just regular cheeseburger. But guys, I don't I don't really eat fast food at all, at all. You know what I mean? If I'm on a road trip, you know what I mean, then we'll stop and you know go through a drive through or whatever. But I guys, no. Nope, 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 no, no McDonald's for this guy. And guys, I was just at at McDonald's. Matter of fact. And guys, <laughs> a McDonald's cheeseburger by itself was two dollars and fifty nine cents near me. Guys, you this is how it's supposed to go. You go into, into McDonald's for cheap, fast food, 
But then you walk in now, and guess what, guys? You've been had. That is crazy. Basically $3 for one of those? Come on, man. Get out of here with that mess. Um, I can I can leave around 12. Okay, so you'll, so you'll get here around 1. You want the address? Zip code. Uh, she says, if we go all the way, I want to be safe. Oh, you mean condoms? What else do you think she means, you knucklehead? Uh... Okay, I'll bring some. I don't know what'll happen, but I, I want to be sure. Okay. Is that lame? I'm sorry. No, that's fine. It's just that condoms make me soft sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Guys, I, I'm a heterosexual guy, so I only date women, right? So, any women... <laughs> who, are, who are watching this, this video, can you guys please put in the con comments all the dumbass excuses that, that guys have tried to use to not use condoms? <laughs> Because I can tell you, like, like I have been with girls where they were, because, like, guys, I always say this, use a condom every single time. All you guys out there, use a condom every single time, okay? Just to be safe, okay? And, uh, but I've heard a girl say, she said, AJ, I'm allergic to latex, so you can't use con condoms. I said, well, then bye. What? Well, you're not going to, she said, you don't feel like taking a chance. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, no thanks. No thanks. Right? Okay. Uh, so I see that you put... Uh, oh, Alright, hold on. Where were we? It's just that condoms make me soft some, some, sometimes. Oh, what do you think? Wait. Oh well, what do you think you done this more? I was just thinking about health class. Well, if I get soft, I can put it in with, with, without the condom, but when I'm about to, I will take it out. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, 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 public service announcement. The pull-out method does not work. It does not work, guys. It does not work. And you can still get a disease. Come on, man. If that's not going to get me pregnant, then that's okay. Uh, da -da -da. Um, okay. Okay, oh, guys, he drives a Suzuki Grand Vitara. When was that last time that you saw one of those? Suzuki Grand Vitara. Look at that, dude. Dang, look at these. A that's a 2008. I think he had like a 2006. He had one of these older ones. Yeah, when was the last time you saw one of these, man? A Grand Batara. Wow, I haven't heard of those in a long time. You still see these things putting around, man. You know what I'm saying? Guys, back in high school, for a little bit, I drove a... Guys, drop in the comments. If you remember these. You guys remember Suzuki Samurais? Yeah, man. I, I used to have one of these. This is a cool little car, man. Yeah. I saw the newer ones. They're called the... The Jimny everywhere else. And this is a newer one. I saw these in Iceland back when I was there. So... Yeah. Anyways, so guys, he jumps in the car... And the Grand Vitar, and off he goes. And yeah, guys, there's not a lot of footage of this guy, right? So we will watch what we can and see what we can see. And yeah, guys, here we go. Conversation, he's talking about. You know, I hear that from virtually every person who has walked into this house. I'll never have. I just carry everywhere. Ah. <laughs> 
I just carry them everywhere just to, you know, just to be safe. And guys, look, as if some random, you know, for JJ is going to jump out of a tree. <laughs> And he's just gonna he's just gonna have to whip out his condoms to protect himself. <laughs> and he brought the McDonald's, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Now he's got McDonald's and cookies, man. Straight up. That is hilarious. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story about ah, 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 ah. meeting teens on the internet. And just like this man, a mental health counselor for teenagers, when the cameras come out, the potential predators often scurry. Here we all. <laughs> That's the best part about was it Flagler Beach or is this guy Fort Fort Myers? Hold on. He was in um Fort Myers. Yeah, these Fort Myers cops are not playing games, man. They got him with the straight up. Look at that. They look like they look like like LT out there. Look, look, look. Oh. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Guys, guys, guys. So let's see. He made a plea deal, and he got felony account of using a computer system or network to solicit or obtain sex with minor. He got nine months in jail and, 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 and three years of probation, and is on the RSO for life. And he moved from Florida to Vermont. Guys, guys, guys! Two knuckleheads for the price of one. T cat is fake. Oh, anyways, yeah, guys. Let me know. You guys, you guys think, make sure you are subscribed, guys. I appreciate all the support, guys. And I am out of here, guys. Have a good one.